manual for scuttle bucks. That's why they didn't go up on it, you know. That's been seven dollars a pound for a long time. Well, I mean, you're pretty much supplying everything. All they're doing is paying seasoning and. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're just cooking it for yourself, you're going to cook it, you're going to spend that much getting oil and this and that and everything oh, else. Oh, yeah. So I'll sit in there and have them make me margaritas and $7, they can cook it up for me. Yeah. I like it. You get a couple of pounds of that cook, you make some friends in there, too. Next thing yeah, I got, yeah, next you got thing, all your free drinks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the next thing I got invited to go to a uh, crawfish bowl up there on the canal Saturday, last Saturday, walk a child down on crawfish. I did that one time uh, at the hills. Caught a big old cobia. Well, my buddy did that shit. He ended up getting to the rod before I did, so he pulled it in. And I thought, just give me a piece of backstrap. That's all I want. So a piece of, I mean, that's how big it was. Yeah. That, that section fit into a one-gallon bag. So I sat there and I thin sliced it. Got some purple onions, some key limes, and uh, uh, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of tomatoes, some uh, I like bell mango, peppers and some, some mango and dude, I put it all together, put it in the fridge, went to sleep, woke up like three or four hours later, took the whole bowl to Theo's. So I sat there and I started they're like, damn, what is this? I said, shit, get some, get some and dude, I started feeding dude, I left there so <laughs> I had like four bucks to my name, but I left there. <laughs> Everybody was buying drinks and everything. But I already had everything there yeah. in the house, so it didn't cost me shit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you feed a bunch of drunks, man. They take yeah, care of Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, especially fresh food. What is that? Sheep hair. Oh, God damn, that's good, man. Like, that sheep hair's pretty good. I never had sheep hair. It's pretty good. They're like, damn good. Yeah, that cobia was freaking... Yeah, I never had luck enough to get a cobia. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty intense fights, too, man. They're, they're, they're bad. They look like a shark. Yeah, in. oh yeah, yeah. But, but they oh, I've seen them caught out by the rigs. We're out there. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarkuchia here. All right, so this is camera number two. First one already got soaked up with the battery, so I had to send it in to go get charged. And we're on the tail end of this um, setup right here, so we're going to see how much we can get going with the, uh, the amount of battery going on this phone. I somehow thought I had them plugged in and they weren't plugged in so I didn't realize it till I got to the pier that I was only on like half a battery or what have you but um, as you saw in the first video I was tearing them up with the shrimp and fish bites wrap with the bait elastic and so we're going to continue on going with the as the northern is blowing in and we're definitely getting a strong north wind coming at us and temperatures are starting to drop slowly so we're going to see what ends up happening with this one and for the guys that are new to my youtube channel this is part of a teacher man to fish series we don't always sugarcoat everything um for the reason being we want people to know and the amount of effort that gets put into the fishing trips that we go and that is time effort casting and then just sitting there waiting for the fish to bite or hit, especially when nothing's being taken and no bait fish are out there. So a lot of times you get some pretty good fishing stories, as you can tell in the first part of this video. And as we're doing that, I tend to let those go ahead and go through because it gives you a sense of that you are fishing there with us and so forth. And so remember, turn on your notifications, give us a thumbs up, and... Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys, because we got so much more knowledge coming, and we're going to keep doing what we do, and it's fishing all over. You got to break out the stacks, and then it's time. Cold wind scared everybody off. I figured it's time to be packed tonight.
Especially that corner. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all happened for a reason, dude. Watch. I'm going to get a rest this right over here. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want. You're gonna eat all my time, my flesh rock. Flesh rock. I don't know what I'm gonna do anyway. I'm gonna let the fish on right there. Drumzilla. I think we need a bigger pier. <laughs> Eighty-one pounder, maybe two pounders. Here more. That's why I came in the morning. Sunday's been a good day. Last two Sundays. So. I think it's gonna be Sunday, bloody Sunday. <laughs> I'll be out here Sunday. It's gonna be sheep head tomorrow. Y'all will see me out here, but I'll be over there cleaning sheep head and trout. Pet drum, though. I see some pet drums around this path. <laughs> no, really? The ladies can come out here and watch them. Going up there.
And then she brings the cow out there to the, the lakeside. Oh, Lake Placid. Yeah, there you go. Lake Placid, yeah. It's just like that. Fucking old lady. This big old goddamn dumb out there. You want a paper next week? Huh? All the gold papers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's drunk cop, but... Half alligator, half drum. Half... <laughs> 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 Here, you carry some of my shit in for you. <laughs>
program on that other one. I'm gonna mess it up. Waiting for this camera to die. Once it dies, I'm gone either way. of it. All right, guys, so as everybody started to clear off the pier, that's when the bite started to happen. Um, the other thing is my camera <clears throat> that I said was already on half battery. Yeah, I didn't make it to that portion, but we went ahead and stayed anyways. I was, still had plenty of bait, and I still had about another two hours of fishing in my night to be able to get through. So here's a little rundown of what we started nailing into. Um, we did notice that during the day I was smashing them on the shrimp with fish bites and I was using the bait elastic Well, we noticed that the catfish rolled in super thick and they were hitting anything with shrimp on it So we moved into fishing with straight crab chunks half crab whole crab And that's when we actually started to catch our fish and it was pretty nice guys we end up uh, catching quite a bit of them after the lights went out and stuff like that or that everybody left right before the lights went out should i say but as you can tell when the lights went out we were we were in darkness for a minute but then um, a good friend of ours hector with uh, 361 most hated hooked it up with some light for us to be able to get the pictures that we were needing and so forth so the, with the extra light we got our our fish in there but yeah guys it wasn't for the faint of heart that night it really did get cold and super windy out there <laughs> 